Good morning, everyone. What are we doing today, Hunter? Sparking. We are starting our sprout journey. It's our little isolation project. We're going to show you exactly what we do and how they turn out over the next couple of days. First thing I ordered were these sprouting lids. Second thing I bought were all of these mason jars. They came in packs of three at Kmart and they come with their own normal. The next thing that I purchased was this draining rack. Yes. Okay. Nice, and this bit here opens up too. Yes. I've bought eight different types of sprouts. I already had broccoli sprouts, mung bean sprouts, sunflower sprouts, pea shoot sprouts, fenugreek sprouts, radish sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, kale sprouts. Step one which is soaking all the sprouts. I'm gonna do them all for eight hours. I don't wanna sprout all eight at once. I'm just gonna pick four, and then in four days time, I'm gonna do the other four sprouts because they take a really short amount of time to grow, and I don't wanna waste any. Can you pick four seeds for us to sprout? Those two? All right. Fenugreek, mung bean, kale, and alfalfa. So I've put the four seeds in their jars. One day and one day. Oh, see this one? That is alfalfa. Okay, alfalfa. This one? Fenugreek. Fenugreek. That's this one. Kale. Kale. That's this one. Mung. Mung. So now we need to let them soak for eight hours and then we'll rinse them out and then we do a rinse twice a day for five days and then we should have sprouts. But in a couple days, we'll get the other four up and running and then we'll have just a continuous sprout farm going. It's been the seeds, yeah? They have been soaking for eight hours. So it's time to rinse them. So we need to put on their sprouting lids now. Like that. And now we can simply tip the water out. Now that they have been drained, we simply need to pour in some fresh water. Give it a rinse. And tip it out. What do you think of our sprout system? It's looking pretty cool. So now we just keep them over this tray so they can drain out and then we rinse them twice a day. Good morning, Sprouts. Good morning, Sprouts. How are you doing today? Time to rinse you. Keep going, Sprouts. Shake it. Good job. Tip it out. Okay, day four sprout update. Mung beans are traveling well. Fenugreek, amazing. Alfalfa, some are sprouting, some aren't. Thought there'd be more. Kale is looking a bit sad. Some success, some not so successful. We will see how they go tomorrow and then tomorrow we're going to set up the other four jars of sprouts and maybe they'll all work, maybe they won't. We'll see how they go. 
Good morning. We are officially sprouting our olive oil sprouts. Now, sprout update on the last ones. Fenugreek, amazing. Loved it, delicious, very successful. The mung beans, I've already eaten them all. They were really yummy, really good. So we're gonna sprout some more mung beans because we know they work. Now, the kale went moldy. You can see that on top there. But I think that's because I forgot to water it because I actually gave up on it, but it wasn't sprouting. The alfalfa started to sprout, but it all clumped up together and half the seeds didn't sprout. So I was reading the packet and I think they were in the wrong temperature. So they like it a little bit warmer. So we're going to try and put them in a different space in the house and see if they grow there. But otherwise, we're going to sprout our new ones. So they need to be soaked. What do you think, H? Eh. Pookie, pee, and mon, and this is fun. Kale. Kale. Sunflower. Sunflower. Radish. Radish and sunflower. Uh, the sunflowers are black ones in the middle. And gum spots. Say, time to go and grow. Time to go and grow. And we are all set up for our little sprout rinse. Got our sprouts, our water, our bucket. It is day one of this little sprouts and I've left the door open so they're a little bit warmer and the peas have already started to sprout, which is really cool just from being overnight and we will see how the other ones go. So we're just gonna rinse them and get them back on the drying rack. Summer sprouting. Look at this. We've got little pea sprouts happening and Some. mung beans sprouting. Show me the broccoli. Some spices are not. Yeah, they're all starting. That's great. But the kale again is not kale in it. It is, it doesn't vibe it at all. The radish is going well and so is the sunflower. Look at that. Cute as. Good morning, Spots. Welcome to our final Sprout update. Good morning, Sprouts. Sprouts are doing amazing, but this is going to be the final time we tell you about them because by now you get the idea of how to grow Sprouts mung bean so successful so they taste delicious so i'm just going to take off the sprouting lid and put on a normal lid and they're gonna go into the fridge and now we can eat them we'll do the same with the peas because they're all sprouted look at that radish i'm going to give the radish one more day sunflower seeds they sprouted, but they're not as big and as successful. So I'm gonna give them one more day and see if they change. Broccoli seeds, very successful, very easy to grow. I had to split them over two jars because they grew so much and they filled them up. So those, I'm still going to give them one more day and see how they go. So will you help me rinse them later? Hmm. Okay. The absolute dud of all of our seeds was the kale. And it's, you can see it, the seeds are starting to crack open but they're just not working fast enough. So I'm gonna give them a couple more days 
and we'll see what happens. Broccoli sprouts, winner, fenugreek, winner, mung bean and pea and radish seem to be doing really, really well in this environment, which is really cool. These are the fenugreek seeds that we did last week and I've been eating them every day, just raw while I make dinner and they're really, really yum. Now, the seeds smelt very strong of fenugreek, but when they sprouted, they didn't have a smell at all. In a very strange twist of events, since I've been eating them, I stink like fenugreek, like my body odor is so strong and it's so weird because the sprouts, this is too much information, but it's very interesting. The sprouts have no smell, yet I smell like a fenugreek plant. So although I sprouted them very, very effectively, I don't know if I'll be doing it again because my body odor is rather strong. So I might stick to the mung beans and the peas. Mung beans are my favorite ones. And Bucky is my favorite. We had so much fun. Did you have fun sprouting? Yeah. It's very exciting watching things grow, especially when it happens so quickly. We think you should definitely all give sprouting a go. It is such a fun activity, especially during isolation and at any time. It is really, really easy to maintain and they grow so quickly. So it's very exciting for kids to be a part of. We will be definitely taking some sprouting equipment with us in the van because it doesn't take out much space. And that way we can grow some of our own food, which is exciting. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you next time.